when you see the narcissist after the discard. Maybe the narcissist discarded you or you left them and you went no contact. And there was a period of time where you didn't see them. You didn't talk to them. But what should you expect when you see them again after the discard? After you have gone no contact? When you see the narcissist after the discard, don't expect them to be supportive or cooperative. Don't expect them to want a resolution. Don't expect them to consider your feelings or needs. Because if you expect any of this, you may be disappointed. You may also expect the narcissist to be cruel and mean to you. So that you could be reminded of why you left them. But then they may return to the love bombing. Which may leave you confused. So it's best not to expect anything. Because the narcissist may catch you off guard. They may pretend to be normal, nice people. Because they know that other people will realize that's why you left. They want everyone to think that something is wrong with you. As though you left without any justifiable reason. Because you only care about yourself. That's what they want to portray to other people. They want to be seen as perfect. As though they did everything they could to support you. But you were bad to them. So they had to leave you for their own safety. Or if you left them. They don't understand why you left. You're never going to get validation. You're never going to get closure. All they're ever going to do is manipulate you. So you have to find that validation and closure within yourself. You have to give yourself the answers. Because you're never going to get that from them. Their main priority is the illusion. And they have no interest in anything that does not support the illusion that they want to portray. So when you see the narcissist after the discard, don't look for answers. Don't waste your time questioning them. Because you're never going to get the answers you're looking for. And it's just going to give them supply. To know that you still care. Which is why it's so important to have more significant things in your life. So you're not constantly worrying about what the narcissist is doing. They feed off your reactions. So let them think you're not concerned about it anymore. Let them think you've moved on. Even if you're not there yet. You cannot display any vulnerability around a narcissist. Because they will only exploit it. Instead. Talk to people who you can trust. Talk to people who understand. Whether it's survivors or my channel, or if you would like to book a coaching session with me, talk to someone who can validate what you have experienced, 
rather than looking for answers from the narcissist. Because when you do that, you're just showing them you still care. And while that might make a normal person want to work things out, all it does with a narcissist is it just gives them supply. It makes them feel powerful. It makes them feel important. It does not cause them to have any concern for you. But they will try to extract information from you. They will want to know what you're doing now. Which is why you really need to limit what you say to them. Don't reveal too much about yourself. Because they're only going to use that information against you. Even if you've moved on and you're happier and more successful now. There's really no point in sharing your accomplishments with a narcissist. They're not going to praise or compliment you. Or if they do, it's not going to be genuine. They will just play it down and find ways to minimise it. They will always find something wrong with your success. Because it's not them. So when you see the narcissist after the discard, there's really no point in sharing anything at all. Because whether you share good news or bad news, they're just going to use it to get supply. When a narcissist interacts with you after the discard, they just want supply. Or they're trying to get something else from you. Whether it's money or sex, they always want something. If the narcissist didn't want anything from you, you would never hear from them again. So when you see the narcissist after the discard, it's important to keep that in mind. They're only there to take something from you. Everything a narcissist says or does is manipulation. Nothing is ever genuine or from the heart. So don't allow yourself to be fooled. You are wiser now. But if you choose to engage with a narcissist after the discard, after everything they put you through, they are going to see you as weak. They are going to think that you're stupid. And they're going to see it as an opportunity to manipulate you. That's all it's ever going to be. Because they know they're never going to be anything good for you. They know they're not to be trusted. So if you don't want the narcissist to see you as that anymore, your only option is to keep it short and walk away. Because the longer you stay around them, the faster your value depreciates in their eyes. They assume that if you're making the choice to be around them, you can't be that great. Because if you were anything better than them, you would leave. But when you do choose to disengage and you put your focus on things that should be more important to you, that's when it's game over for the narcissist. That's when they're forced to accept that maybe you are something after all. But the moment you engage with them again, they see you as a fool. 
there's really no way to be involved with a narcissist without them seeing you in that way. Because they already know they're no good. They know they're not to be trusted. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.